Well, welcome back. Uh, this is the second installment here on River Valley Tobacco Reviews. Um, so glad you came back. And uh, our, obviously, if you watch our first video, our first inaugural video, it was of Kodiak Wintergreen Pouches. Great product. Uh, hopefully, maybe you picked it up and uh, gave it a shot if you were able to find it. Like I said, it is a hard one to find, but it's really, really worth the money. And it's a little high price, but it's really good. Uh, as I showed you in the last video, a little sneak peek, today we'll be reviewing from the Pinkerton Tobacco Group or company, uh, Big Duke Original Flavor Chewing Tobacco. And um, we'll be going over that here in a minute. But just want to let you guys know, first of all, uh, you know, thank you for stopping by. Also, that I was made it made uh, aware uh, when I uploaded my my last video that um, I had the orientation on my camera uh, all messed up, so you weren't able to watch it in a full format, which a lot of people do, and including myself. So we got that taken care of. So we should be good to go there. And uh, looks like my wife put some uh, fall decorations up for the. Uh, <laughs> For the backdrop of the video we're getting close to that time of year and uh so anyways so again thank you for uh coming back and joining for another review so now let's go over the review of big duke original flavor uh from pinkerton tobacco group now we'll look at the the front of the bag here and uh, as you can see you got uh, the flap which um you, know, you got the big duke and you got the the picture of the um I believe it's a lab or whatnot. Uh, Notating uh, that's original flavor right above the dog there. Warning label. Also, you can see here that as it notates, a dollar ninety nine. Now, it says special price, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to guess that this is probably probably going to be the normal price. I don't know for a fact, but I mean it's on the bag. There's no special. You can't move it. So it's on the bag, so I'm guessing that could be the case. And this is what I've seen it at since I've seen it at my local tobacco store in here in Northeast Ohio where I do some shopping for tobacco. Other side, uh, again, same everything. Um, we have the Fresh Track notation, which is typical of all um, Pinkerton chewing tobaccos. Um, and again, we will go to the bottom here. And again, this shows Big Duke, um, the factor, again, that is a product of the Pinkerton Tobacco Company. And, you know, they also are the makers of Red Man, you know, Southern Pride, uh, and of course, Big Duke, and there are a few others in there. I know I'm forgetting, but, uh, and of course, they have their, their dip line of Timberwolf, uh, Longhorn, and whatnot. Uh, also, the factor that this is 100% imported, uh, premium imported tobaccos, excuse me. But what would I mean? Really, it's a dollar ninety nine. So would you? You know, come on, you can't ask for everything. Um, also, um, this is in great shape. I mean, I just can feel it. But with Pinkerton, you do have usually in the upper left hand of the inside the flap. If you can see, I'm trying to get the focus in there. If you see right there, it's a date code right there. Okay, and you can see that it says B. 211C1, and I do know with Pinkerton, and I, I think I'm correct, this is the first two, which would be BB, excuse me, B2, and that would, should make it, if I'm correct, to be made of February of this year. So, we're in good shape. It feels really, really good. So, let's uh, open it up, and let's see what we got here. Now, we do have, and I did, I will admit to you, I did open this already. But we do have six glue buttons, if you can see here. Let it focus in. And then you have the fresh track right there, which when I initially opened the glue buttons, it was clean. And that's what you want to look for. You want to make sure that no tobacco is sticking out. doesn't mean it's bad, but it means that possibly the fresh track in these could have been compromised. Because you got to remember, all you have is these glue buttons right here that's, you know, keeping the environment. You know, if this is opened up, all it's keeping fresh is these glue buttons, which usually do pretty good, but you just always want to make sure of that. So let's open it up. And you can see, uh, let's see here, we can get a good look. I mean, uh, looks really good to me. Um, I mean, classic chew 
raisins. It's not raisins, molasses. Really smells a lot like Red Man to me. Um, a lot, and it smells really good. Um, and for the price, and for it to smell like Red Man, so far this is this is a winner for me. Um, and you can tell it's kind of a shortcut. I like that. Some people like, you know, a longer, strandier cut. Um, but you can tell it's kind of a shorter cut. Very tacky. You can tell by my fingers. Very tacky. Uh, which is typical. Uh, but good, you know, has a, you know, very good moisture to it, too. So let's put a little bit of a cheek in. I'll put a small one in since we are trying to do a review for you guys here. So let's uh, let's get this in here and let's see how it goes. Let that soak for a minute. Now I'll tell you. Close this back up. Get all the air out of it. Hmm. It tastes exactly like Red Man to me. Um. Pankerton did a great job on this. Um, this, I would say it's a budget chew, but they did a fantastic job on this. Um, if you're looking, if you're looking for, um, you know, a, an alternative to Redman, even, and you want to save, you want to save, um, you know, you know, I think a bag of Redman here in Ohio, where I live here here in Ohio is seven to eight bucks. This is $1.99. I and mean, so far the flavor is juicing up good. Mm. You can see pretty dark spit. Um, feels good in the mouth. Not a lot of stem material. We'll open this back up and you can tell. Not a whole lot of stem material in this really. Um, I didn't really see none. Um, there might be some secondary vein stems in there. But I really didn't see it. Um, but it feels good in the mouth. The taste is good. Again, to me, it tastes identical, almost very close to Red Man. Pretty close. I won't say dead on because I think, in my opinion, Red Man is. Um, let's get that sitting. There we go. I think Red Man is probably, in my opinion, one of the best chews out there. Uh, you do, pay, you know, you do pay for it. Um, so taste is good. Mouth feels good. Nice and comfortable. So, you know, so far feels good. Only been in for a minute or two, but it feels good. Nicotine. Now, nicotine with any chew is going to be low. Um, and I think this is fairly low. Uh, I do know the highest nicotine for bag, you know, chewing tobacco is Red Man. Um, but, uh, and I'd have to look up numbers on that one. But I'm guessing this is this is fairly low. And probably lower, you know, than Red Man. Uh, price. At least here in Ohio, four ninety nine. I mean, you can't beat that for the price um, and availability. I've seen this a lot of places. I'm imagining this, you know, being the factor. It's a budget. It's a good price. It's a good product. You'll probably be able to find it in your local uh, tobacco stores, and maybe even, um, you know, certain maybe some stores or gas stations. Um, there we go. Had a little bit of a uh, piece kind of float away on me. I had to get it back in line there. Um, but if you do chew and you're looking to save a good bit of money, but yet you still want quality flavor from a reputable company such as Pinkerton, which P Pinkerton's you know been around for a very long time, very reputable company. I give this a, a, a you know out of, out of out of one out of five, I would give this very close to a five. Very good product, good quality for the price. Yes, it's imported tobaccos, but I'll tell you what. You don't really notice it. It feels like a, a, a all, very close to Red Man in the mouth. Taste is very close to Red Man. And the price, again, you can't beat that. So, um, 
yeah, so that's it. So that is a review of Big Duke Original Flavor. Now, we're going to get the sweet blend uh, and see how that goes. Uh, but so far, this is pretty good. I definitely go out and check this out. If you're into chew, you're looking to save a little bit of money, Big Duke, man. This is really good stuff. Good job, Pinkerton. Really did a good job. So thank you again for coming to the video and joining me for this review of Big Duke. Um, our next video will be a dip review. Um, and I'm not going to give you a sneak peek this time, but it's a, it's a pretty well-known dip. It's in the budget category. Everyone probably has tried at least once or twice at dips. And some people, it might be their everyday dip. So, again, thank you for joining me. Make sure you check this out. This is good stuff. And um, that will be it. Uh, have a good rest of your week, and we will talk to you soon.